Longing to get away for a vacation? <laughs> Who isn't? <laughs> How about a little taste of Cuba with a shot of Hollywood glamour on the side? Well, you've come to the right place. This easy sipping cocktail I'm going to make for you today might be the perfect balance between you staying at home and soaking up the sun with the sights and sounds of old Havana. And the spirit of rum, of course. <laughs> Gladys Marie Smith was one of Hollywood's first superstars. You might remember her better as Mary Pickford. She was born in Toronto, Canada in 1892 and was a huge star of silent movies acting in nearly 200 films. She was also a producer and co-founded the United Artists Studio as well as one of the founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. So it's easy to see how a cocktail was created in her honor. One story places the drink's creation at the Hotel Nacional de Cuba. But the problem with that is, <laughs> the drink by all accounts was created in the early 1920s and the Hotel Nacional didn't open until 1930. <laughs> this throws a little bit of a wrench into our story, doesn't it? But it gets better. <laughs> it gets more confusing. <laughs> The Mary Pickford cocktail was created by either bartender Eddie Wolk or Fred Kaufman. Now, Eddie Wolk came to Havana from New York via Paris and fled to Cuba uh, during Prohibition. Fred Kaufman, he was originally from Liverpool and was a traveler of the tropics for so long that he spoke with an English-Spanish accent. <laughs> he loved the islands. In any case, they both have claimed to have invented the Mary Pickford cocktail. One more possibility as to where the drink might have been invented, and I'm just uh, speculating here. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw another wrench into the, into the story. Well, it would have been at the Sevilla Biltmore Hotel because both Wolk and Kaufman worked there at the same time. Makes sense, doesn't it? We do know that the drink was from the 1920s because it first appeared in When It's Cocktail Time in Cuba by Basil Wu in 1928. It also found its way in Harry Craddock's The Savoy Cocktail Book from 1930, where the recipe was slightly altered and given an extra depth of flavor with maraschino cherry liqueur. The most often repeated story about the Mary Pickford cocktail is that she visited Havana with her husband Douglas Fairbanks and their good friend Charlie Chaplin. They were filming a movie together and at some point stopped in at a bar where the drink was first presented to her. The problem with this story is Mary and Douglas never went to Cuba <laughs> and never made a film there during their marriage. She did, however, travel there in the early 1910s with her then-husband Owen Moore, where they did make several films in Cuba. Supposedly, though, <laughs> Mary didn't enjoy Cuba at all, mostly because of the humid climate wrecking havoc on those long, lustrous curls of hers. None of this means that the cocktail didn't originate in Havana just that the actress probably wasn't there for its inception. The original recipe for the Mary Pickford cocktail is pretty basic. It consists of pineapple juice, that's fresh pineapple juice by the way, <laughs> and rum, probably Bacardi White, with a dash of grenadine. But you know, I think there's room to adjust the recipe as Harry Craddock did without being unfaithful to the original drink. You can play around with the ratio of rum to juice to create the perfect balance to suit your palate. <laughs> Let's make one. I got my fresh pineapple and you want to use fresh pineapple because it makes a world of difference. So I'm just going to carve off a slice here. Yeah, fresh pineapple. I don't know how much I'm gonna get. This is pretty juicy actually. Like I said, this is the way they did it way back when. And this is the way you should do it. You know, it's just gonna make a much nicer cocktail, a better tasting cocktail 
than if you were to use canned. Okay, so let's press. I'm looking for an ounce and a half of fresh pressed pineapple. There it is, one ounce and one half pineapple juice, fresh pressed. All right, let's get rid of this. Give this a little wipe. <laughs> Always make a good mess. <laughs> ain't doing it right if you ain't making a good mess, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, pop up or shaker here. Ounce and a half fresh pressed pineapple juice, followed by well, we're going to use Bacardi because that's probably what they used uh, back in the 1920s. Uh, ounce and a half. Maraschino liqueur. Uh, Harry Craddock's uh, version. We want one sixth of an ounce or uh, a teaspoon or in this case a bar spoon. Beautiful. Our final ingredient is grenadine. But, you know, I thought I would just, you know, twist it up a bit. I've got this wonderful um, wild hibiscus uh, in syrup. It's absolutely marvelous. Um, it's sweet, it's earthy. I like it. Um, you're supposed to use grenadine, but I'm using wild hibiscus and I want a quarter of an ounce oh yeah look at that look at that um, another option would be the juice from uh, Luxardo cherries uh, that would work too but like I said grenadine is uh, what you're supposed to use all we want to do is add some ice to this drink and shake it where's my lid yeah <laughs> shake it oh, how are we shaking today um shake it like you're in a silent movie and words don't matter I've got this wonderful uh, cocktail coupe here. Just get rid of this ice. Chilling down. And we're just going to uh, fine strain our Mary Pickford into this glass. Oh yeah, look at that color. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Yum, 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 yum. And all we do is garnish. I've got a couple little Luxardo cherries here. Let me just throw that on a little pick and, uh, and a tribute to uh, Mary Pickford. Canadian actress, yeah. Let's give it a go. It's very nice. This is delightful. It's fresh. I think the wild hibiscus syrup really plays well with the pineapple, the fresh pineapple. The rum isn't overbearing. It just sits really nicely. And the maraschino cherry liqueur is, it's there, but it's kind of like in the background. This cocktail is so good, it doesn't need words. <laughs> the Mary Pickford cocktail, you gotta make one but make it with fresh pineapple. Guaranteed, this is a delight. It really is. Man, that's, it's really good. Yeah, they were onto something here. Ah, the 1920s, take me back. <laughs> what was that?
<laughs> I was doing my silent film thing. <laughs> Okay, maraschino liqueur, <clears throat> just like uh, Harry Craddock used, maraschino gin <clears throat> Let me do that again. I'm gonna go with one good flow here. I got my Mary Pickford here, and it is a delight, let me tell you. Um, it's so fresh and alive, and I like it with my hibiscus syrup. You could make it with uh, grenadine. Let me know in the comments if you make it and, you know, which way you like it best. In the meantime, hit the subscribe button. Check the other videos out, especially the Charlie Chaplin one there, yeah. Mm. And make this thing.